quickly, but when you're looking at this, ladies and gentlemen, again, we can identify by inspection that these are going to be three examples of continuous functions. So to evaluate for the limit, what the value of what the function is approaching as x approaches negative 3, as x approaches 2, and as x approaches 4, we can simply just plug in the value. So um, I'll just take uh, negative 3 squared minus 8. Negative 3 squared is going to be 9 minus 8, and that's going to equal 1. Over here, I'm just going to take 2, plug it into uh, the function. So I have 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 squared minus 10. Please note how I am using my use of uh, parentheses as I am plugging in those values. So therefore, I have 8. This becomes negative 2 times 4 minus 10. So therefore, that's 0, so I'm equal to negative 10. Okay. And again, ladies and gentlemen, um, we can go ahead and graph each one of these so you can visually go ahead and see where this is approaching. Um, and then lastly, we have x as approaches to 4. So we'll just do 3 times 4 times the square root of 4, 12 times 2, 24. Anybody have any questions on direct substitution and the limit? No? Good? Okay. 